Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Hello and welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. Today we'll be looking at another deck for the standard format featuring some cards from the latest set, Fates Gallade. Um, not too many of them, just uh, and uh, but yeah, it's a shift tree deck. So uh, if you're not familiar with the shift tree, the shift tree was first printed um, in the um, Flesh Fire. Um, I mean this grass um, shift tree, and basically it have 140 HP, which is definitely a lot of HP. Um, it can hit for um, a lot of damage, and it also have decent abilities. So basically, for three energies, one Colrus, uh, two uh, two Colrus, or one double Colrus energy. And uh, one grass energy, it can hit for 20 times the number of Banshee Pokemons both your and your opponents in place. So basically, if you want to hit for 180, which would be actually enough to knock out uh, almost every popular EX in format without fighting Fury Belt, expect for the um, Zygarde, you need to have five Pokemons in play and your opponent three on the bench. So probably uh, that's not hard to happen. Also, uh, Leaf Draw can allow you to discard card from your um, discard grass energy from your hand in order to draw three extra cards, which is definitely very strong ability in my opinion. So it's a stage two Pokemon. It's not a big deal because um, you can also play uh, play it on your turn one because you have um, Forest of the Giant Plant. So that will definitely help you to uh, have Shift Tree turn one. Of course, when you play Shift Tree, you can play Miltank. So Miltank can be your powerful um, friend. Uh, basically, it can be support attacker if you don't have two energies to attack on your turn one with the Shift Tree. You can actually use your Miltank and hit with the powerful friends for um, something like 100 damage without any problem. So definitely good card. And also second attacker for the support in this deck is going to be a Dradigon because Dradigon with Revenge can hit for 90 if you uh, suffered a knockout turn before and actually with the muscle band with a single double colors energy you can surprise your opponent for example and knock out shaman for two prizes which is definitely good so um, from other cards I'm running also two copies of shaman eggs for the setup uh, but it also can be good for the sky return with the muscle band you can hit for 50 which is actually enough to knock out um, hmm. Low basic Pokemons with age with 50 HP, so maybe Fennekin. Some people play Fennekin with 50 HP. Um, but yeah, 14 Pokemons, 37 trainer cards, and 9 energies in total, which is actually 60 cards as usual. So um, let's let's uh, see the other lines. So I'm running also 4 3 3 line um, Sidot, Nazlev, and Shift 3. So Shift 3 should be probably main attacker, but also Sidot has decent ability. Core for Family, which says that you can search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. But we hope um, that we are not going to uh, play that attack never ever. So from the other cards, I'm running. Um, two level balls. So with the two level ball I can search my deck for the 90 HP Pokemon or less. So basically those two level balls which will actually help me to grab double C dots on my turn one so I can have actually a pretty good chance to um, expand uh, my bench but also I can search my deck for the Nuzlocke so I can actually evolve and with the Ultra Ball I can search Shaman for the setup and actually have Shift 3 turn one with maybe Miltank in the active spot ready to attack and do some serious problem to your opponent. Also Four copies of Puzzle of Time, definitely good card because it can help me to uh, put some resources back from my discard pile back into the play. Uh, I mean into my hand. So if I play two copies of Puzzle of Time, I can put any two cards from my discard pile into my hand. So basically I can grab even Revitaliazer, so I can put two Grass Pokemons back into my deck. I can even grab Milton and Grass Energy, or maybe just Dragon and uh, DC. If I have Muscle Band, I can just easily Lysander my opponent, Shaman, for example, and stuff like that. So you have a lot of different combinations with this uh, deck. And it's actually really interesting to play with it. I will definitely show you that. Uh, also, copy of Revit Laser, which can help you to put two grass Pokemon from your disc pile into your hand. Single Starling Megaphone, which can help you to, to scrap all tools from your opponent's Pokemons. Uh, one Super Road, of course, for those basic energies and other Pokemons. Three copies of Trainer's Mails. Um, four Ultra Balls, of course, for searching Shaman and Shift Trees. And also four copies of VS Seeker. From supporter cards, I'm running single AZ, so I can uh, remove Shaman from play, just in case I don't want to lose uh, two prizes. But also I can remove Shift Tree and put it back without any problem. So I can remove all damage from the Shift Tree. A single Hex Maniac, who can actually help you against Trevenant Item Lock, but also against Greninjas. I mean, Greninja should probably not be a big problem, uh, because 
it also has weakness, so you can one hit knock up Greninja, for example, and your opponent um, need to have a um, lot of water shurikens and stuff like that to be able to one hit knock up your Pokemon. But definitely Hex Mania can help you a lot. Also, one Lysander and only one N, because I don't have too many space, so N is just a tech in this deck. Four copies of Sycamore for the draft support. A copy of teammates, definitely good card. I mean, when you suffer the knockout, you can definitely search any two cards for, uh, for uh, with the teammates. So I guess I like teammates. So I like to play teammates in uh, tier two decks. Um, it's my favorite card in those decks. Uh, also, single Wally. -E. Well, you never know what can happen, so you can actually use that Wally. -E. I mean, you can you can scrap that Wally, -E, but the Wally -E is actually tech just in case um, you don't have. Um, forest of the giant plant, so you can basically evolve. Um, but uh, actually, you can remove that Wally -E for any other card, for example, for Fort, Trainer's Mail, or maybe for another Mill Tank, uh, or maybe even for Fort, uh, Forest of the giant plant. But uh, I don't know. Personally, um, the first I was thinking to play uh, this deck with Octillery, but I don't know. Actually, should I keep Wally -E or maybe um, discard it? I still need to think about that. Um, but definitely can help you a lot. Also, three copies of Forest of the John Plant, two copies of Flowstone, two uh, Muscle Bands, nine energies in total, four DC, and five Grass energies. So, definitely interesting deck. Um, if you're looking for any of these cards, you can actually find them on ccgcastle.com as usual with 5% uh, discount on your purchase. So, definitely keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, I'm going live and I'm still thinking should I remove that Wally or not? Maybe for another N or for another uh, trainer's mail because uh, with another trainer's mail I can actually have more options but I think actually I should scrap that Wally -E maybe for... Um, yeah, I should definitely scrap that Wally, -E. I don't need that but I don't know what to add um, instead of the Wally, -E, maybe another Nasleaf so I can have 443 Nasleafs or maybe... hmm yeah, definitely Nazlif can be good, but I will actually add another Trainer's Mail, so this is definitely um, the deck list um, as you uh, see right now. So it's final deck list, so just forget about that Wally, -E. you actually don't need it, because the original deck was with Octillaries, and that's the reason why I have Wally, -E, but I decided later to play them with the Shaman, so it's actually better with the Shaman. So yeah, let's move to the game test so you can actually see this deck in the action. Alright guys, so welcome to the game test. I'm going to call the heads and unfortunately for me I lost that coin flip so I'm going to start second. So by going second I can actually start to attack on my turn 1 with uh, Miltank for 100. Of course if I can hit uh, Miltank on the field. If not, I guess I can play um, just my shift tree. Um, maybe try to buy some time, stuff like that. We shall see. Um, so yeah, um, this looks good. I have seated in my hand, so um, it really all depends on what I can top deck. Um, I saw some um, Rainbow Energies, uh, Fighting Fury Belt, uh, Water Deck. I don't know, it reminds me of my character's build that I actually played. Um, but we should see what my opponent plays. So I can grab one extra card uh, for that Mulligan. Hopefully I can find maybe supporter card and maybe even better Ultra Ball, so I can actually uh, grab my Shaman. Um, we shall see. So as many Pokemons my opponent can bench down, um, that means that uh, more damage my Shifter can does. So I like the art of the Shifter, it looks just amazing. So I will definitely grab one extra card and it's in Mill Tank, so I like that. Alright, um, this is a Larvesta and a Smurgle. Okay, so Lar Larvesta can evolve into... Hmm, what's the name of that card? Well, I can't remember the name. I can't remember the name, but it allows you to search your deck for three energies, I guess, and attach to one of your um, Banshee Pokemons, something like that. But I just can't remember the name. Never mind. Um, so there's a floatstone and another Lar Larvesta and a Shaman for four. All right, I like to see that Shaman, but I also like to see those um, basic Pokemons on my opponent bench because for now uh, I can hit for 180 if I can have uh, five Pokemons in place. So I will first scrap that um, floatstone, that's for sure. After that, I'm going to play my Trainer's Mail so I can see the top four cards. Um, there's a M. So I guess I will play my N right there. Um, maybe I can even attach my double color synergy, so I will just 
Um, there's the turn one with the deck. Alright, no sign of pretty much nothing, so I guess I can play my Shaman for one. How bad I can draw, that's that's not true. Um, so Shaman for single cards, just for the grass energy. I guess I don't have another option than just go with the Call for Family. Oh god. That's, that's definitely very bad. Where's my Ultra Balls and the uh, Trainer's Mails and stuff like that? Alright, at least I have another Cedar down to my bench, so hmm, with Muscle Band I can suffer the knockout, but uh, who knows what's gonna happen on the next turn. If I can somehow survive, I guess I will just go with my Double Chorus Energy Attachment on my uh, bench at Cedar, and uh, then I will go with my Professor Sycamore, just because I I don't know, I don't want to discard too many double core synergies, but I actually play those. Um, I actually play. Um, oh, there's a Hex Maniac. Speaking about Hex Maniac, he's able to knock me out. How? Oh, he's hitting for 30 instead of 20. Um, never mind. I think it was 20, so I will just attach my grass energy onto my mill tank and I will go with my Professor Sycamore, so I need to find a way to evolve into my shift tree, but that's not going to happen. Oh, actually it would. Maybe. Oh, no, I don't have Nasleaf. So probably it wouldn't happen. Um, that retal the re Retaliator is good, but I can play Shame because he played that um, Hex Maniac, so I will just hit for 10. Unfortunately, not enough for the knockout. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, next turn I can do the knockout. Maybe, maybe not. I need um, Ultra Ball. Any kind of Ultra Ball or Level Ball is good. Because I will have, in that case... Um, Nazleaf, so there's Ultra Ball for my opponent, for Grass and Fire Energy. And he's going to get, what? ho he -X, so right. Expected. There's Lighting Energy and another Shaman Yank, so he's going to set up for four extra cards. But look at my discard pile. Three of my Double Colorous Energies already has been discarded. That's not, um, that's not something you would like to have. Um, there's Professor Sigmar for my opponent. Rainbow energy, water energy, a lot of different energies. Uh, there's another Max Elixir. Can he find another energy card? Yes, and it's a water energy. So he needs one grass energy. All right, I guess not a big deal. He's going to knock me out right here uh, with that elemental um, feeder. Feeder? Feeder. Yep, so far um, this game does not look good. I need to get rid of that hog, and uh, when I get rid of hog, I guess I'm fine. But I first need to top deck something, and uh, let it be level ball or ultra ball. Uh, teammates, I guess it's okay. It will bring me a Nazleaf, and it will bring me a ultra ball. But even better, I can grab double ultra ball right there. Um, this is even going to be a much better because I'd be able to play um, actually Shaman right there um, for four for some extra cards. So this is going to be a Nazlip, but the problem is that I don't have energy attached, and I need to retreat actually. So this is not that good as it should be. So I'm going to grab. My shift tree right here, and I'm going to play. Unfortunately, Ultra Ball for double VS Seeker. I mean, I'm forced to do that. I need to find that Float Stone and maybe Dragon, but uh, I don't have Dragon as you can see right there. Uh, but I have Float Stone, so I can find Float Stone at least. All right, and Shaman for six. Okay, not good, not good, not good, not good, no float stone in play. I don't have another shaman X, so I guess all I can do is pass my turn right here. At least I have double shift tree in play, so that's definitely double trouble for my opponent's hole. 
because I'd be able to hit for a lot of damage next turn, that's for sure. And I also have Professor Sigmore, so I need to find either way double color synergy or double puzzle of time so I can bring my uh, double color synergy back into my hand. And there's Professor's Letter, so he's going to grab um, two different energies, Grass and uh, Lighting Energy. He can even attach one energy onto his Hoch. Um, I hope I'd be able to knock out that Hoch next turn. If I can knock out that Hoch next turn, I guess I have open um, chance to win that game because uh, I have Shifter ready to hit for a lot of damage. 120, 140, uh, 160, 180. So yeah, I can hit for 180 damage without problem which would be enough to knock out that ho. Expect if my opponent be able to find that Fighting Third Belt in that case. I will need a Muscle Band and a few more um, Pokemons in place, so basically... Um, yeah, I need to have Full Bench and uh, Muscle Band to one-hit knockout ho in that situation. And he is even not able to one-hit me knockout. And I just find that Muscle Band. And this is going to be Professor Sycamore, so I first need to find Float Stone and Double Chorus Energy. Um, there's a Float Stone, and this is going to be a Leaf Draw for Tree. Come on, give me another puzzle. So there's another puzzle of time. And right now I can grab any two cards from my discard pile. So I'm going to grab two Double uh, perhaps maybe even Mill Tank, um, but I will grab one puzzle of time, definitely, because I can play again puzzles and uh, one double colorless energy. And I can even evolve my another shift tree in play. I'm not going to attach that muscle band, that's for sure. I will just retreat. And right now I have 120, 140, 160, 180, 200 damage counters, so that's the 200 damage. I'm going to hit for 200. That hole is going to be knock it out. No problem. I can drop two prizes. And what I what I what I need to do right here to win. Um, there's another puzzle of time in Dragon, so very good play for me, I should say that. Um, but yeah, there's a victory. I mean, I have that V seek for Lysander, so I'm just so I would just easy be able to knock out that shaming on the bench and just again play another um, VC for another Lysander for knockouts and actually to finish the game. So let's move to the game number two. Alright guys, welcome to the game number two. So let's try to see if we can go first. No, 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 that Pikachu coin don't like me these days. Um, last few days I just hitting those tails of the coin flip. I don't know what is going on with my Pikachu coin. Uh, but Pikachu just hits that Tails. Um, I should say definitely very good start for me. Um, double seated, I'm playing against Garchomp and Carbine, so this is going to be very interesting matchup. I need to be very very cautious about playing my Shamans because I can just easily give my opponent a chance to drop two prizes and I actually don't want to do that. I can one hit knockout my opponent Garchomp, he can't one hit knockout my shift tree. I mean, probably he can, but he need a lot of cards. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as long those focus ash is not going to appear, I'm. I guess I'm happy. Um, triple seeded start. It's definitely a promising. Also, forest of the giant plant, um, grass energy, and trainer's mail is also something you would like to have. So, I might be even able to hit that. Um, Turn one, shift three, and melting for hundred. If that happens, um, I guess nobody would be much happier than me. Um, carving, I guess, not a big deal, um, not a big threat, not a big threat at all. I should say that. I mean, just ninety HP safeguard, not a play to shift three. Um, there's a gable and the via seeker, so. If uh, yeah, I mean, you should probably take V-Seeker if you don't have another um, kind of supporter in your hand, so you can play Karina again. And he decided to attach one energy onto his uh, Gable down to the bench and pass the turn, so it's my turn. Um, there's a Muscle Band, so I'm going to play first Trainer's Mail, so let's see what I can find. Um, <laughs> Floatstone or Ultra Ball? Ultra Ball or Floatstone? Um, that's the good question. I don't know what to play. 
let's create the flow uh, let's create ultra ball so ultra ball it's going to give me um shame in x right here um yeah definitely so I'm going to grab some extra cards right here. I'm looking for that melting first. I should have that melting if I grab that. Um, hmm. There it is. There is the chance to play actually right now Professor Sycamore and uh, I can discard DC but I'm taking a huge risk right there if I don't have melting in my deck but there it is. Alright so I need shift tree of course Will I be able to find Shift 3? Who knows? I'm not going to play Dragon. I just want to have one more um, space on the bench for the Shamini X, of course. So there's Professor Sycamore. I need one Grass Energy. I need Nuzleaf. I need a lot of cards, and I actually didn't find any of them. So, Trainer's Mail. Trainer's Mail for another level wall. Uh, not good. Okay, at least. At least, at least, at least, I can uh, play Nazleaf and I can attach my DC and I can go with another level ball for another Nazleaf. I was hoping to find that uh, Mill Tank and uh, Float Stone so I can attack with my um, Shift Tree, but I was not able to do that. So, puzzle of time. Uh, hmm. Definitely Shift Tree as a top deck, and after that, I'm going to play um, V Seeker. So far, so good. I was not able to hit on that turn one, but not a big deal. I'm playing also against slow deck and non heavy um, attack attacking deck because that card champ cannot hit me for 160 because um, I'm not running DXs. Expect for the shame, but uh, I will try to remove it with my AZ from play. So there's also carving break. Okay. I discarded some resources, some viable resources, but it's always good to see um, Garchomp without strong energy. And there's Corina, so he can grab probably maybe Floatstone. Maybe he can go for the Floatstone if he play Floatstone, so he can actually retreat. Um, but I don't know how good is that. Um, he should probably take another Gable and maybe um, V Seeker again. But we shall see. Um, Gable and Switch. Okay, uh, reasonable. So he's going to take the knockout right here. And I'm going to respond back with my shifter next turn, I hope. I hope I will do that. I have a secret from Dead Professor Sycamore, so that's definitely going to happen. But the question is, will I be able to hit for uh, enough damage? Uh, so far, I can hit only for 120. As you can see right there, I only have four Banshee Pokemons, my opponent three, but I'm going to lose my Seedot. Um, not a big deal, I guess. Not a big deal. So I need to find a Shift 3, Grass Energy, and uh, one Pokemon for the bench. Or in other situation, oh, he can also um, charge some energies onto the bench at Pokemon. So he decided to go with Turbo Assault. Of course, he was going, you're going with Turbo Assault and probably going to attach one Strong Energy onto the Carbon Break. Okay, so uh, actually he decided to go with the Gable. Alright, oh, very interesting. Okay, let's see what I can top deck. Oh, yeah. I actually forget that I will top deck Shift Tree. Um, v Seeker for Professor Sycamore. So I'm also going to draw another nice leaf puzzle of time. Um, and Grass Energy. Nice. So far, I'm so good. Uh, or maybe not that good as it looks. So I can hit only 420. But tell you one thing, I'm going to take a risk right here actually. Um, I'm going to play another puzzle of time so I can see the top three cards. Hmm. Another puzzle of time. I don't like when that happened. I don't like when that happened definitely. Um, so I guess I don't have another option than uh, retreat and hit with the melting. I just want to preserve my shame for later, uh, my shift for later. So I will definitely do that. I will uh, give my opponent opportunity um, to knock out my uh, melting. 
but at least I'm going to preserve my shift tree for a few more turns because shift tree is actually the better option to have. Unfortunately for me, I lost two puzzle of times for pretty much nothing. Um, if there was either way level ball or any kind of the basic Pokemon with the top three cards, I would definitely go probably with. Uh, oh. So he just uh, don't have nothing, so I would definitely go with uh, my ability with Leaf Draw, and uh, in that case I'd be able to um, do some serious problem to my opponent. But on the other way, I can even Sky Return in this situation, so um, right now you can see why that is so important, because I can prevent the damage that my opponent can actually do. Um, to my shift tree, so I will just play my Professor Sycamore right here and let's see what I can get. Another, um, hmm. yeah, pretty much another um, grass energy. Let's see what I can draw with the leaf draw. Maybe another puzzle of time so I can increase my bench for a few more Pokemon. So there's a Seedot. I'm going to play that Super Oak, that's for sure, for Seedot. Miltank and for um, one of my Grass Energy cards. Oh, I actually don't need another Seedot. I will take Tradigon because I can hit for the Revenge right there. And uh, this is going to be a Knockout. I decide not to Sky Return. I will just hit for the Knockout actually um, and leave my uh, shift tree in the active spot because my opponent cannot hit me for too many damage counters but I can actually then just uh, one hit knock up that Lucario and grab two prizes it really depends on what he's going to top deck and what he have in his hand so oh there's a fighting stadium say goodbye to my forest of the giant plants unfortunately for me I was not able to preserve any of them so I was forced to discard three of them So, if I want to hit for the knockout right here, for now I can hit only for 120. So, that's not too much, but there's another level ball. And uh, I can't drop nothing with it. Another shift tree. Um, I don't know if I want to play shaming. So, let's see. Um, 120, 140, 160, not enough even close for the knockout. I don't have even Lysander in my um, discard pile, so I will just go with my N. I'm looking for Lysander. I don't want to play that Shaman yet. There's a V Seeker. I actually helped my opponent a lot right there um, by playing that N. But it, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, we just want to play a um, very uh, long game right here um, so you can actually see a full potential for this deck so there's a live uh, drew for three more cards and there's another um, ultra ball so I guess I can play my ultra ball for the float stone or maybe just for the teammates no I will actually just hit for um, 120 right here without playing any other card at least I helped my opponent to um, drop some extra cards with that M I mean, I, I was almost able to uh, win that matchup because my opponent would just depend on what he can top deck. But let's let's just play a little bit more. I'm down to 7 cards, so that's also very notable. I need to be very cautious about that. And there's another energy card, so this is going to be a corkscrew smash for 60. Okay, at least I can knock out that Lucario on my next turn, but... I might be able to find... Uh, I might be able to find with my Ultra Ball right there and uh, Starlight Megaphone and of course another Shaman EX Lysander but I'm not sure if I even have Lysander in my deck. No I don't have so I will just pick um, Miltank. So it's additional attacker and uh, I don't want to play pretty much nothing else so let's just hit with Maybe I could go with my N. How many V Seekers I played? Three of them. Um, I'm looking for energy cards actually. 
I'm not sure if I'd be able to find it. Maybe with the grass energy I can actually preserve that shift tree. Um, so I guess that's even better option. And there's also Dragon. I can bench it down so I can hit for even more damage. Um, let's retreat. And uh, let's hit with the knockout. And actually without another um, without another um, strong energy on that uh, Garchomp and something like a Muscle Band, he's not going to be able to knock out my Shift Tree. But then again I can actually knock out his Garchomp with the one single uh, shot. And yet there's no uh, Muscle Band so the knockout is not going to happen. And I also have that Lysander in my hand, but I also have Hex Maniac, which is even better because I can um, shut out my opponent ability. And there's an Enhanced Hammer, so that Enhanced Hammer was huge. I also have teammates, just in case after I suffer the knockout. But I guess I don't need any card from my disc, uh, from my um, deck. Maybe those um, Puzzle of Times. So let's just. Let me just see something. Um, yeah, never mind. Let's just go for the knockout. So even without so many Pokémon in play, I can one-hit knockout Garchomp because it's weak. And right now it's just important to find that another puzzle of time. I hope it's there. Um, nope, it's a Muscle Band. Okay, even Muscle Band is not that bad. So I don't have any more um, rest energies left. So if my opponent can somehow uh, get rid of my double chorus energy, this is going to be a big problem right there. But I hope that's not going to happen. I have two more cards left in my deck, which means that I have two more turns to win this. And there's another Gable. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to play my uh, Lysander for that Gabite. And I'm going to um, knock him out and uh, I'm going to draw one extra prize so hopefully this is going to be another puzzle or I may be um, eh, yes there's another puzzle of time so right now I'm actually um, happy uh, because with another puzzle of time I can actually grab pretty much any two cards so I can even play N and yeah even even a double color synergy if uh, enhanced hammer again happens so it's pretty much GG even if even uh, I left my opponent chance to uh, draw some extra cards uh, he was not able to um, find uh, uh, any response to my shift tree and actually managed to win this game. So I, I, I hope you guys enjoy watching it. It was definitely um, very um, nice to play with it. I mean this shift tree can hit for a lot of damage, you have a lot of different options to play with it. And the deck, deck actually by itself works uh, pretty well. Once again, there's the full deck list. Um, you have a lot of different options. You can actually one hit knock out your opponent. Um, Shin with the Dragon and the Muscle Band. Um, you don't even have. You, you don't even need to have um, stage two Pokemon in play uh, to be able to hit for 110 with that Revenge. Uh, then again, you also have the Mule Tank with the powerful friends who can help you as the backup attacker. Those uh, Puzzle of Time can actually also do a um, very good job because you can grab any two cards from a disc pile back into your hand. And yeah, a lot of, lot of different options, so definitely hit that thumbs up and like button uh, for this deck because uh, I think it's 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 one of, uh, one of one good deck, especially for the future, uh, when the format uh, will going on. I mean, after rotation, probably we would lose that uh, shift tree, but uh, I don't know, it's definitely good to play with uh, your friends. I don't know how competitive it should be, probably not that good because item lock can definitely uh, block him. I mean, against Revenant, against Seismitoad, I guess you have uh, some chances because Seismitoad is actually weak on the grass, but against Trevenant Break, it's a whole uh, new story. So once again, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. Let me know what you think about this deck. Uh, let me know also if you have um, any deck idea, what, you, what would you like to see, so I can actually... Um, build and test for you guys. So yeah, um, till the next time, have a nice day and uh, goodbye.